Question 7, Paper 2, November 2020. A landscape artist plans to plant flowers within two concentric circles around a vertical light pole. PQ. So PQ is a light pole and he's planning to plant flowers within those two concentric circles. R is a point on the inner circle and S is a point on the outer circle. So R is a point on the inner circle and S a point on the outer circle. R, Q and S lie on the same horizontal plane. RS is a pipe used for the irrigation system in the garden. So RS is an irrigation system. The radius of the inner circle is R units and the radius of the outer circle is QS. So this is R units and that is QS. The angle of elevation from S to P is 30. So that angle is 30 degrees. Angle R, Q, S is represented by 2X and P, Q is square root 3, R in length. 7.1. Show that Q, S is 3, R. So here we have Q, S. And you can see Q, S is a side of the triangle P, Q, S. So if I draw it in a two-dimensional way, I have PQ as square root 3R. And we have the angle of S to P as 30 degrees with the horizontal plane. And that's enough information for us to use tan to find QS. So the tan of 30 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is PQ over Q S. So that is the tan of 30 degrees is equal to square root of 3 R times Q S. Therefore, Q S would be equal to square root of 3 times R over the tan of 30 degrees. And the tan of 30 degrees can be represented as 1 over square root of 3. So therefore, if I substitute and simplify, I have QS is equal to 3R. 7.2. Determine in terms of R the area of the flower garden. Now we know the length of QS is 3R. And the information given was that the flowers will be planted within two concentric circles. So the flowers will be planted within the highlighted area. Now we have the radius of the bigger circle and we have the radius of the smaller circle in terms of R. So the area of a circle is equal to pi radius squared. Therefore, the area of the flower garden is the area of the bigger circle which is pi 3r squared because the radius of the bigger circle is 3r and I subtract the area of the smaller circle and if I simplify that will be 9r squared pi minus r squared pi so the area of the garden would be 8 pi r squared 7.3. Show that Rs is equal to R square root of 10 minus 6 cos 2x. So we want to find the length of Rs. So the information and the triangle which I would use is triangle RQS. We know that the length of RQ is R and that the angle of RQS is given as 2x. And the length of QS is 3R. Now in order to find RS, we can use the cosine rule. So RS squared would be equals to R squared plus 3R squared. Notice so I do it in brackets. Minus 
2r times 3r times the cos of 2x. And if I multiply out, I have r squared plus 9r squared minus 6r squared times cos 2x. If I add up like terms, I have 10r squared minus 6r squared times cos 2x. Now I can see that r squared is a common factor. So I factorize and that will be r squared and in brackets 10 minus 6 cos 2x. And this is equals to rs squared. So to find rs, I need to take the square root of r squared times 10 minus 6 cos 2x. And the square root of r squared is r. And then the contents of the bracket would stay within the square root. That's 10 minus 6 cos 2x. And that is the length of rs. So if r is 10 meters and x is 56 degrees, calculate rs. Now we have an equation for rs. So r is 10. Then square root, then I have on the inside of the square root 10 minus 6 cos 2 times 56 degrees. And on my calculator, this will be 34.9966, so forth. So therefore, the length of RS can be estimated to 55 meters.